Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. This session, I will try to discuss about that how we can easily use the Astar satellite imagery, and further how we can easily identify the mineral potential zone using Google Earth engine. So I hope after completing this tutorial, you are able to learn the method how we can easily mapping mineral potential zone using google earth engine and in this case we are using at the astral imagery if you want you can also use the other types of hyperspectral satellite imagery we can easily access from uh, google earth engine data catalog so let's go i will try to explain all of those things one by one and i'll also show you that code how we can easily create the different types of mineral potential zone using astral imagery in google earth engine So let's go so simply open my this document so basically it's one kind of document i already created so in this document i try to explain about that methodology how we can easily use the hyperspectral imagery to identify the mineral potential zone in google earth engine so this pdf you can easily get it from my linkedin page as well you can also get it from my um telegram group i uploaded this thing then you can easily read it then i hope you can get that lot of idea how we can easily identify the mineral potential zone use hyperspectral image so this objective is that in this case i just simply choose a study area in Saudi Arab, and then further i try to find out that specific uh, region of interest so basically in this case i try to uh, find out that mineral potential zone as well as in this case i try to use that, that different types of hyperon or aster or prisma okay so basically in google earth engine data catalog we can easily get the hyperon as well as also get the aster satellite imagery but other types of hyperspectral satellite imagery if you want you can simply download from different sources and further you also use it in google earth engine simply upload this type of imagery and you can also work in google earth engine platform as well as we also implement the process of google earth engine in spectral and mixing we also discuss as well as classification technique we also use and then further we try to find out that gold potential zone so further in this case you can see we are just using the hyperspectral imagery okay? and we also need the geological map for existing mineral survey report for validation and also training purpose so if you have no the geological map or if you know any data for previous mineral survey report so then it not it must be difficult to identify for the validation for the mineral potential zone so first of all you try to find out that uh, the any geological map or your existing mineral survey report for the your study area is it available then we can easily use this data as a reference data and further we can easily uh, detect the mineral potential zone and mainly in this test case we try to use at that for data processing use the google earth engine and for the mapping we use at the arc gis mainly arc map try to use to make the map and for the method first of all we try to get the access the hyperspectral data uh, mainly aster or hyperon or prisma from uh, google earth engine data catalog for your specific boundary and further we try to apply the atmospheric correction so basically in this time hyperspectral imagery to remove the atmospheric effect you uh, using the first line of sight atmospheric analysis we apply and then we try to um, make the atmospheric correction and further we try to a spectral signature extraction so it's very important so use spectral libraries available in google earth engine as well as we also get from that united states geological survey uh, spectral library or if you want you can also use at the reference ext uh, external libraries for the mineral interest such as gold copper or other types of mineral which you want to focus so just extract the um this mineral spectral signature and then extract the hyperspectral band okay and we can apply the spectral unmixing such as mtmf so this is the mixture turned massive filtering 
to separate the mixed pixel spectra into the fractional abundance of mineral. And if you want, you can also use the classification such as support vector emission on random forest to make the distribution based on the spectral signature. And for the validation, we use the ground truth data. And finally, if you want, you can also create this type of download this type of imagery from uh, Google Earth Engine. And then you can easily make this type of uh, classification map for the gold potential zone classification, such as no gold, no gold, low, high, and very high potential zone. We can easily classify it. And further, these things we can easily convert as a KML file or KMZ file, then we can easily open it in the Google Earth Pro. And further, we can easily visit our study area and then we also try to uh, identify this is the region for go high, low, very low potential zone. So this is the one kind of map, okay? as well as if you want to also use the Astar imagery. So basically Astar is that advanced space bond thermal emission and reflection radiometer. Using the Astar, we can easily identify the different types of mineral. You can utilize the unique bands in the uh, short wave infrared or thermal infrared range and who is well suited for the detecting the mineral composition uh, composition due to their distinctive spectral signature and we can easily access the aster imagery in uh, google Earth engine so we can easily get it this is the imagery so i already added this imagery in my code editor so here you can see in this case i try to um, add this imagery so basically this is the imagery for Aster. Okay, so using the Aster imagery, we can easily uh, detect the different types of mineral. And in the Aster imagery, you can see basically it will be available from 2002 present time. We can easily access, and this is the data set provider. And in this data set, we find out the different types of band. So here you can see the different types of band. We can easily get it, and further we can easily use this Aster imagery. If you want, you can also use the other, suppose hyperon or any other hyperspectral imagery to work with that. So in this case, I want to use here the Aster imagery. And this Aster imagery, we can easily get it from that Art Engine uh, public data catalog. And then selecting the relevant bands for mineral mapping. So in this case, Aster provided the uh, 14 spectral bands ranging from the visible to thermal infrared. And some more, uh, of the most relevant bands for mineral mapping, we use here the short wave infrared and also thermal infrared. Okay. And useful for surface feature such as bands 1, 2, 3, N. So this is the band combination. When I use, then I can easily get this type of imagery. So you can see this master imagery. I simply add this type of band combination band 3, N, band 0, 2, and band 0, 1. It useful to identify the surface we can easily get it from here for surface feature and then you can also see the key for mineral detection especially for silicates or oxide we have to use this type of band band 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and for uh, TIR useful identify silicate and quartus mainly band 10 11 uh, 12 13 14 and then spectral indices for mineral detection. So we use the different types of spectral indices to identify for mineral detection, such as you can see one kind of uh, ferric iron oxide, okay? So this is the ferric iron oxide. When you use this for uh, formula, useful for iron rich mineral, ferric iron oxide, this is the formula. Pen two divided by pen one, then we can easily detect the ferric, uh, ferric iron uh, oxide region as well as if you want you can see this is the map about that mapping the ferric iron oxide distribution map okay so we can easily identify where is the high where is the low we can easily get it from this you can see from this classification we can easily identify this type of color identify about that very low then low moderate high and very high so this type of region it show about that very high distribution of ferric iron oxide so this is the one in spectral indices if you want you can also use it and detect this type of things and then if you want you can also use here the clay mineral index so this is the clay mineral index to useful for detecting the clay mineral and this is the uh, uh, formula this is the formula for band 6 divided by band 5 then you can easily identify for clay mineral index 
and if you want you can also create this type of map in uh, google earth engine and further create this type of map using arc map software so we can easily identify where is the very high clay mineral where is the um, moderate low very low we can easily generate from this map in google earth engine platform as well as if you want you can also applying the spectral and mixing for mineral mapping and if you want you can also create the classification using that random forest support information and make this type of classification here you can see where is the no gold potential zone no gold how low very low very high and we can easily create this type of map okay for that classification using random forest or support vector machine or if you want you can also use the unsupervised machine learning method such as k-means clustering it also possible okay if you have no any signature data the engineer also apply the k-means clustering and create this type of map and further uh, you can see here i already added some uh, feature and also use the band ratio and also comment about that also you can get the reference about this type of feature suppose fer uh, ferric iron ferric ferrous iron then later it goes on so different types of feature or carbonate you can see about that clay okay alternation host rock so different types of mineral we can easily uh, identify using the different types of band ratio so you can get all of band ratio for silicate or silica or other mineral we can easily get all of those things from here and if, if you want you can also use here this type of band ratio and identify for the different types of uh, mineral from your satellite imagery and for the validation accuracy we can easily uh, I, uh, use the geological data or if you have the geological mapping or ground truth data then you can also use it and then further you can use the confusion matrix and check the accuracy and if you want to use the mi mineral in uh, indices for astral imagery you can see other index suppose alunate okay basically hydras, aluminium, uh, potassium, sulfate. Okay? So this is things you can also use this type of uh, uh, formula for hemitate, meaning iron oxide, hemitate. So this is the uh, formula for hemitate, band two divided band one, as well as you can see the other uh, feature. So you can see this is the map about that hemitate distribution. We can easily uh, get the idea where is the high hemitate uh, distribution, where is the low high hemitate uh, distribution or moderate low or very low we can easily get this idea from this map okay so this is the process after basically this analysis we did in google earth engine but then we create this type of map using arc map software for our presentation or research paper so this is the calicet carbonate mineral you can use this uh, formula for calicet index and further you can easily create this type of map for calicet or carbonate mapping so this is the carbonate we can easily identify about the carbonate okay also you can see the silica or quartos okay just use this formula so you can get all of details from this document you can see this is the map about that uh, quartos distribution okay and in this time all of those things we are used at that uh star satellite imagery and create this type of map and finally we can also you can see this is the our um, landsat 8 etm plus imagery so we just use the 10 meter resolution we convert and then we can get this type of imagery and for that finally if you want to work with for that mineral exploration suppose i want to focus on a specific mineral suppose gold so for the gold potential zone using aster imagery first of all you need to import the data set suppose aster data and then uh, pre-processing the data so atmospheric correction or cloud maxing to remove the noisy okay and clip with your study area and band selection basically we use this type of band four five six seven eight nine and as well as we also use the some mineral indices okay such as brass iron oxide then clay mineral index then alunate or calonite or silica index so this type of things we also need and then further we try to apply the principal component analysis pca analysis or unsupervised classification or overall um, non-deposit okay and further we can simply export our data and we can easily create the map okay so we can easily create this type of map you can see the gold potential map so we can easily identify no gold no gold potential zone low potential high potential and very high potential we can easily detect this from this map so this is the process to create this uh, mineral exploration google earth engine using aster or other types of high resolution imagery so now here you can see this is the code about that so in this code i just try to perform all of those analysis using google earth engine so this is our aster imagery Okay, so from this study imagery, we can easily get that ferric iron oxide. So this is the ferric iron oxide. This type of red uh, yellow color identify about the high distribution of the ferric iron oxide. 
all together KLMN oil. So all of map we can easily generate from Google Earth Engine using Aster imagery. Also carbonates here you can see the hemated index we can easily get it from here. Okay, where is the high hemated con uh, concentration we can easily get it from here. Okay, as well as also Kelset or Quartas. So all of those things we can use this code and we can easily get all of those things. So first of all, simply import your study area, then simply filter your image collection for Aster. Okay, and then simply select it. Okay, so basically which type of band is necessary for the mineral exploration, then create this type of iron uh, ferric iron oxide. Okay, so all of those things we try to implement in here. So you can see the iron ferric or iron oxide, kilo mineral index, carbonate index, hemated index. So all of those index we try to calculate in here. And further, we just apply this type of things and we can easily identify for that any specific mineral, suppose gold potential zone. And for the accuracy, we need the geological map or ground truth data for checking the accuracy. So basically, this is the process for using the hyperspectral imagery to uh, identify the mineral potential zone in Google Earth Engine. So if you have any question or any doubt, you can simply contact with me. And further, I also try to mm -hmm. give you this more details about that. And if you want, you can also learn this type of things. Suppose mapping the mineral potential zone using hyperspectral imagery in Google Earth Engine. Okay, so today is no more. Thank you for watching that. Stay safe, stay safe.